Yo, what's good? It's February 15th. Black History Lesson Part 15. And um, before I make this video, it is said there's an asteroid or some meteor that's on its way to Earth in about a few hours. If I make a video after this, that means we survived. Anywho, today's lesson on Black History Lesson Part number 15 is about the Nixon administration. Take notes of what I'm about to say. Did you know about four years ago on the Daily News, New York Post, or any type of newspaper media outlet, a particular confession had resurfaced this in the media light, better known as the Nixon administration admitting to the war on drugs? There's a guy by the name of John and Hal Richmond, I can't pronounce his name. He used to be part of the Nixon administration for President Nixon from the years of 1969, I believe, to like 1974. Um, he admitted in an interview with a guy by the last name of Baum, B-A-U-M, that the whole purpose behind the war on drugs, which everybody should know about that, where if you got caught with weed, you will get in... 25 to life or, you know, crazy sentences, a felony and everything, crack cocaine, any drug you name, heroin, you name it. If you got caught with those drugs, especially if you were black, mainly black, you were sentenced to, you know, large sentences and all that. You were sentenced to jail for like, for a very, very, very long time, 25 to life or whatever. Now, you may ask yourself, how's this um, black history? I'll tell you what. The whole purpose behind the war on drugs was basically to incriminate black people the legal way as possible because there was no way they could arrest black people illegally. That was just not going to happen. So they had to find a reason why. They had to find a way to get rid of black people in the black community to incarcerate them. And the best way was to incriminate black people to associate them with selling of heroin, the uses of heroin. Um, incriminating hippies who were associated with marijuana and also the whole purpose behind it was to get anybody arrested who was opposed to the war that was going on during that time. So anybody that was anti-war, you was going to go get arrested. Black people, you were getting arrested. And the main reason why behind this was to make sure that the people who were against war and black people did not have any type of effect to get President Nixon impeached. The same way we want Donald Trump impeached, you understand? This came out in the newspapers four years ago, around March 22nd, March 23rd. I couldn't find the exact date, but I remember seeing the front page of this Daily po um, the Daily News or whatever, and... The truth about why black people are getting arrested for drugs, why you can't even sell weed without getting called by the cops and facing a hefty felony, was right there in front of your face in the newspaper. This man, John Hell Rutschman, I can't pronounce his name, was, I mean, he died from diabetes in 1999. So that's 21 years ago. And it was resurfaced, and this information resurfaced, resurfaced, you know, in 2016, I think it's very important that black people know about that because a lot of people have gone to jail for shit that they that was unnecessary. There was no reason why people are going to jail for possession of crack, possession of heroin, possession of weed, or any drug you name it. You understand? And this was just a petty movement. I even read somewhere that another reason why they were targeting black people and hippies and all that was because Nixon was afraid that he would not um, he believed that he was not going to get the black vote but um yeah the war on drugs the war on drugs the whole purpose behind the war on drugs was just to get back at black people and hippies and those who oppose war Anyway, yo, it's your boy Ages of the Prodigy. I'm go I got a video on my watch later. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description. And, um, yeah, look it up. Look up the Nixon administration admitting the war on drugs. 
and you'll get the exact quotation on any link you press on Google. All right? Anyway, I'm out. Peace.